Welcome back. How about let's see if we can try and turn this cat into this cat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the cat again. So I'm going to do the window method where I select everything or the fence method, excuse me, is the other term for it. I'm going to type in CO enter for copy. I'm going to click and I'm going to now move it down to here. Here's where I'm going to do some of my edits. So let's look at some of them. First off, I'm going to do this double ear piece here. And all that is is just an offset. So I'm going to type in O, enter. And I'm going to give it a distance. I actually don't know what distance I, I made this from last time. So I'm just going to actually measure this one from over here. And then now I have my distance for these pieces. And I'm going to do it on both sides. Now that I've got that in, I'm just going to now extend this down to the actual head itself. So I'm going to type in E, X, and then enter. I'm going to do the um, all method where I don't actually select what it extends to. And I'm just going to do a right click. And that way, it, anything that it crosses is considered a, a um, crossing piece for the extension. So I don't have to sit here and go through, well, I think I need this one, but I don't need that one, so on and so forth. It just takes every intersection into consideration. Now that I've got them all extended, it was really quick. I'm just going to do a right click and enter, and now I'm out of that command. So that's the first piece. From here, um, something else that I changed is I put in a little bit of fur into each ear. All this is was just a simple polyline. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to type in P-L-I-N-E for polyline. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually start past because I don't want to turn my snaps off really. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start a little bit past the face and I'm going to zoom in so that I don't have any um, accidental crosses or accidental um, extensions that it's hitting. And I'm going to click my first point. And the first thing it's asking me is I actually want to make this an arc. So I'm going to say A for arc. And I am, the next thing I'm going to do, and actually I've got something, a box in the way. I'm going to move out of the way here. Um, it, it's asking, well, how do I want to do the next point? I actually am going to do this based off of uh, this, the second point. And then I can now focus in on a, zooming in a little bit and creating that piece going to do it again for this one. So once again, I'm going to use second point. And you saw I click down here. I can also type in S because that is the letter that is capitalized in blue. So that lets you know that that is the, the one to type in. Once again, I can control how that looks. I'm going to do it again. S enter. Come up a little bit more. Make it a little bit bigger. Once again, Zoom in and click, S enter, click. Once again, there's control. The control happens in the direction of your last uh, point that you click. So once again, I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna say S enter for my second point. And the way you have control is you wanna keep going in the opposite direction of where you put that, that last click or that last point. Then that, that controls how this looks. And last but not least, I'm gonna do S enter for second point. I'm going to go past. Once again, it doesn't work when I go this way. I need to be as if I'm extending that arc in this way. And now I'm just going to hit escape because I'm finished. Now I've got my little furry piece. I'm going to type in TR enter for trim. Once again, I'm going to use the all method. Anything that it crosses, it just automatically shows as where it wants to cut from. And there it is. Now, if you say, well, the first little bit much, could I take it down? It's really simple. That's why we made it a polyline. You just click on it and pull and control how that looks from there. And then, because I like to do what I call the lazy method, or because I'm lazy, lazy, either one, I don't know, I'm going to just do an MI enter for mirror. I already have it selected. I'm going to use a quadrant as my point, my midpoint. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to click there and I'm going to take my mouse and make sure it's going straight up or at a 90 degree angle. A lot of times what I like to do is to make sure 
that it doesn't mess up is I take my hand off of the mouse, especially when you have a wired mouse. And I make sure that I get that 90 degrees into place. If once I do, I'm gonna go ahead and click the next point. It's gonna ask me, do I erase the source object? No, no, I do not. So, and that's usually the default. So I'm just gonna hit enter because it's already selected and there it is on the other side. So we're already here making some progress here on this cat. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make the pupil for my cat eye because we all know they have those weird eyes there. So I'm gonna go into, I'm actually gonna do an ellipse is what I did for this one. And the ellipse is up here uh, inside of draw and you have a few options of how you can do it. Um, I'm gonna do the axis in. So um, essentially the way that that works is I'm gonna click my first point, I'm gonna click my second point, and then based off of where I put my mouse, and this is all, you know, where, how the radius is on this piece, that's how I can determine how wide or, or small I make this. So I'm actually gonna click about right there. Now, the great thing about doing the ellipse is I can click and I can say, oh, well, it's not pointy enough. And I can take this in, or I can say, oh, it's a little too pointy, and I can take it out. So you have that control there. Once I get it to where I think it needs to be, which actually I feel needs to come out just a little bit more, I'm gonna do once again the mirror tool. Type in M I enter, find me a midpoint, which for me for this point was actually the midpoint of my arc, top of my nose of my arc. And once again, I've got a mirror there and I've got now the pupils in the eyes. Something else that you'll notice that I actually took the nose and it made it actually look more like a cat nose. They have a little bit of a curvature where their nostril is on the inside. So once again, I'm going to just do an arc. I'm gonna add an arc in and I'm gonna do the three point arc. So the three point arc means, and I'm just gonna go along this point here somewhere. I got it, I need to have a starting point, a radius point, and an endpoint. That's all that that means. Once again, because it's an arc, I can control how wide that goes. If I think it's not enough, I'll do the trim tool once again. Actually, I'm not gonna do the trim tool first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out a step. I'm gonna grab this arc again, I'm gonna do the mirror. I'm gonna hit the bottom point of where the two pieces of this bottom of the triangle come together. Once again, I'm gonna make sure I have a 90 degree and I'm gonna click and it's gonna copy over to the other side. No, don't erase the source ob object. Now I'm gonna do the trim and I'm gonna do the select all method again. And then that way I can just go through and hit them both at the same time. So there we go. So now we got the nose. So like I said, it's slowly taking shape here. Um, from here, I also added in the bottom part of the mouth. Um, and I could do this, I could either do an offset or I could do it a different way. Um, I'm gonna actually do the offset where I type in O enter. Um, and I probably, what I, that, that distance I had from the ears is probably enough. So I'm just gonna hit enter again because that's what was set before. And I'm gonna put it in. And then I'm just gonna make sure that it connects. Now, if I feel, oh, well, that's not really what I wanted, I can always take this and I can pull this in, right? And then I can take these and I can pull them into a certain point, like maybe this perpendicular point is the perfect place for that. And now I have the bottom of my mouth. So last but not least, all I did at this point is I added in two more arcs here. So I went back use my arc command. And I, once again, I decided to do the method where I cross, made my center point, made my end, made my end point, once again, did it again, arc, center point, end point, so that I hit a cross there. I'm gonna trim it, right click, trim, get these pieces out. Um, I may wanna fix this here. That's all right, we'll fix it here in a minute. <laughs> it may be too much, may not be enough, who knows. Grab these pieces, do a mirror. Base off the quadrant there. Nope. 
Don't erase the source, trim, get this piece out. Now I can then take this bottom mark here and I can just edit it down the size. And there we go. We have as a stylized cat. If you have any more questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. If you, uh, you can send me questions at brightideas at gmail.com, B-R-I-G-H-T-E-Y-E-D-I-A-S at gmail.com, or you can leave them in the comments below. If you want to draw something else besides a building, which is what I'm going to be tackling next, and you want to know how to draw something else, like say maybe a giraffe or something else, you know, let's get a little crazy. I can show you how to do those drawings as well. Thanks again.